Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to create a pop-up box for your Show It website. Now I do want to mention that I don't recommend creating a pop-up box for a mobile device. Um, Google actually does not recommend this as well. So today we're just going to focus on creating a pop-up box that appears when someone views your website on a desktop. So this is the Charlotte Rose website template in my shop that I've made a few customizations to. And I want to create a pop-up box that will allow someone to download this freebie. So what I want to happen is when someone clicks this button, a pop-up box will appear where they can enter in their name and email address to download my freebie. Now I do want to mention that pop-up boxes can be used for other things as well. Um, I've seen them used and I've also used them for sales or promotions or limited time offers. It does not have to be for someone to get on your email list. There are many different ways that you can utilize these pop-up boxes. What they do is they just bring more attention to um, something that you want them to take action on. So let's go ahead and create this pop-up box. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the page. I'm gonna click over here on my page tab and I'm gonna just add a blank canvas. Now what I'm going to do is just extend the height of this canvas so we have a little more room to work. And over here on the right hand side, I want this canvas type to be window height because I want it to take up the whole screen whenever um, someone clicks and this, this pop-up appears. And I also want to select sticky to the top. That way it will be stuck to the top of the page and it will fill the whole screen. We don't want it to appear and appear at the bottom of the page here because then no one will see it, right? We also want to make sure that this is hidden to start because we don't want anyone to scroll to the bottom of the page and see this pop-up box. And lastly, we want to make sure that the stacking order is higher than every other canvas on your page. So to be safe, go ahead and put something like um, 30 for that stacking order. Now for the canvas background, what I like to do is select black and I like to set it at about 95. That way, um, you can still barely see the, co the website content behind this pop-up box, but it looks as though it dims out the website and really brings focus to the pop-up. So now I'm going to go ahead and just create a rectangle. This is kind of the pop-up box itself that I'm going to house the information in. And I'm going to go ahead and um, under size and position, I'm going to just kind of center it horizontally and vertically. Now what I want to do is add an image to the side just for some interest. So I'll just go ahead and grab this image. And I'm just going to snap it to the corner of the box, make it pretty, and leave enough room for us to put the other information. The next step is to go and create an icon, and that icon will be the X icon so that someone can X out of the pop-up if they're not interested in the offer. Um, so now you can go and under the icon chooser, I'm just gonna select this cute little X and just kind of move it around, scale it down, but you do want it to be visible so that way someone can easily opt out. Okay, next what we're gonna do is just, I'm gonna come up here um, to this little opt-in lead magnet area and I'm just gonna grab um, these two little boxes and copy and then I'll come back down and paste them. So that way it looks the same, it has the same you know style, look and feel as that lead magnet area. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is create a form so that way someone can enter in their name and email address in order to download the freebie because I want them to be added to my email list. So I use Flowdesk. I'm gonna hop over to Flowdesk and create a new form. So what you'll do is just click new form when you're inside of Flowdesk. If you have Flowdesk, now you may have MailChimp, you may have ConvertKit, um, Mail or Light, there are all these different email marketing platforms, but I love Flowdesk for the ease and use and just how quickly I can work within Flowdesk. So I'm just gonna select this inline pop-up and we want to customize it. So I'll just go ahead and type um, 
Maybe they're interested in my show at website templates, so I'm going to go with that segment. If you don't have any segments, you can create them ahead of time. What it is is just um, a segment is just a portion of your email list. So you can blast it to your entire email list, um, and they can be added to that, or they can be added to a segment, which is just a portion of your email list. So for now, I'm just going to select this one. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete these things because remember, we added the text inside of Show It. That's already um, synced up with our current colors and fonts. So I'm going to just kind of opt out of having any text in Flowdesk. I'm also going to set that background to none and the canvas color to none. Now I'm gonna come up to the form fields and I'm gonna go ahead and remove that last name field. So I just want a first name and an email address. The more form fields that you add, um, the less chances you have of someone opting in because you wanna keep it very simple and straightforward. Now, of course, I don't want this to say subscribe because we are offering a freebie. So I'm just going to go in here and say download now because this is linked to a freebie that will get delivered once they opt in. And lastly, we wanna hop back over to show it and grab a color code for the button. So this is my main color for this design. So I'm just gonna copy it, hop back over to Flowdesk and right in here, I can change the color of that button. So we want to change that so that way everything really looks nice and matches our design and show it. So now what I'm gonna do is just hit next and I'm just gonna go through these options, which you can change. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is copy the first section of header code. I'm gonna come here into show it and I'm going to select embed code. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna paste the code. And then I'm gonna hop back into Flowdesk and I'm gonna copy the second snippet of code and I'm gonna do the same thing here. And hit save. And now you can see our cute little sign up form, the way we styled it is right here, ready to go. So you might wanna make a few little more adjustments here. I'm gonna bring this up a bit. And then I'm going to select all three of these. And under size and position, we want to align. So I'm gonna make sure everything's aligned nice and centered, and then I'm gonna center it within this white space. So it looks really good, right? So again, we want to make sure that this has a click action of hide. Instead of show canvas when someone clicks it, we want it to hide this canvas. And that should be it. So now what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a site canvas. That way I can add it to other pages on my website. Anywhere that I have this um, opt-in area, we want to also have this on our page as well. So if you have an opt-in on your homepage and your services page, you wanna make sure that this pop-up is on both of those pages as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just rename this to pop-up. And then I'm going to come up here and inside of this lead magnet, I'm gonna select the download button and we already had one an action set, so I'm just gonna close that one out and create a new one. So we want to show the site canvas, new canvas. We renamed it pop-up, but it's still registering as new canvas, and that's okay. Um, you would have to go into, I can show you where we'll rename it, but for now, we'll just go ahead and select um, the button and the text in order to show this pop-up. All right, back to the home page. So now let's preview and see what happens when we click this download button. And we want the desktop. So when we click this, our pop-up box should appear, and it does. And it has a nice little fade, um, and you can still kind of see the website behind it, but we're really bringing focus to the pop-up. 
And it's very easy if someone does not want to opt in, they can click this little X, which is not working right now because whenever you convert a regular canvas to a site canvas, it can sometimes lose that click action. So I'm gonna go back really quickly and reset that click action. And remember, we want to set it to hide canvas. And then we're going to go back and we're going to try it again and it should work perfectly. Okay. Oop, I passed it up. Okay, so when we click download, our box appears and now we have the option of closing it out. So there you go. That's how you can create a pop-up box inside of Show It. And I just wanted to show you really quickly, I mentioned renaming. So you can see here on the side, it's named pop-up. But when I created it, anytime you add a new canvas and convert it to a site canvas, it just takes this new canvas name. So if I click over to the site tab, under site canvases at the bottom, you'll see new canvas. If I rename it here, then it will it will come up as pop up everywhere um, on the site and on the pages. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me or email me at heather, sorry, hello at heather-jones.com. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.